a 31 page independent audit for Milwaukee Public Schools. Inside the 2022 document, revelations about quote, control deficiencies and material weaknesses surrounding the preparation of financial statements. The audit says MPS district management did not prepare financial statements that follow generally accepted accounting principles and were not on schedule for federal or state requirements. Director Herndon. Aye. Director Leonard. Aye. Director Zombor. Aye. Chair Jackson. Aye. There's Board of Directors President Marva Herndon and Board Member Daryl Jackson, Chair of the Committee on Accountability, Finance and Personnel front and center for the May 2023 unanimous vote approving the audit. But one year later, May 2024, when the Department of Public Instruction went public with information that MPS failed to submit key financial data, Jackson had this to say. To certain information, I will say I don't know. And somebody said, Director Jackson, you shouldn't say that. It's the damn truth. I don't. So as much as I want to enlighten you and inform you about information, it's not given to me and it hasn't been given to us. Jackson did not answer the door to clear things up Thursday. We tried asking Herndon if she knew about the issues, why they were not resolved before state funding was on the line. Running from this. All that we could tell you. No, That's Herndon dodging reporters' questions after a news conference Wednesday, and she didn't come to the door Thursday. As MPS refuses to answer questions on the scandal. Kendall, the district promised another news conference Friday. Right at yesterday's news conference, communication staff told us they only had time for two questions. So we're hoping to get some of our unanswered questions addressed tomorrow. Meanwhile, DPI says they're continuing to work with the district to retrieve that missing financial data and remain optimistic they can release the payment later this month. And that payment worth nearly $17 million. Kendall Keys reporting live. Thank you.